Of course, whenever we have severe weather, there's always the possibility of damaging people's homes. CBS 4's Annalisa Ortiz found that nearly a thousand Valley families are still trying to rebuild after storms from earlier this year. Annalise. Marcy and Eddie, back in April, major storms prompted Catholic Charities of the RGV to help families whose homes have been destroyed. Now, lots of families signed up, but not as many volunteers were helping out. And that means that some families are still waiting to get the help they need to put their lives back together. This was our living room. Six months ago, a severe windstorm blew the roof off Melissa Bazan Dominguez's mobile home. Everything had been caved in up onto our beds, everybody's beds, everything was damaged. With still no roof, she begins to worry all over again as gray clouds roll in over her Donna neighborhood. First thing that comes to my mind is my house. More damage to my house. Her home continues to be destroyed. She and her family have been staying with friends and relatives as they wait for help. Being homeless is a sad situation. Dominguez says she was denied assistance from FEMA and turned to Catholic Charities of the RGV's Disaster Relief Program. But they've been flooded with similar cases. We're still working, trying to identify families with unmet needs and trying to look up for the resources in the community that we can use to assist the families. Catholic Charities still needs volunteers who can help families in need. They've also been working with county leaders and other organizations to improve emergency response in the Valley. And trying to inform and educate the families and the entire community as to how we can all collaborate to, to be prepared for events such as these. Despite it all, Dominguez remains hopeful that she will soon have a durable roof over her head. Until then, she continues to dread the severe weather that lies ahead. But every time there's a cloud out there, there's another storm in my heart. If you would like to help Catholic Charities, you can call that number you see on the bottom of your screen. They're not only in need of people who can help with case management, but also skilled workers who can help rebuild some of these homes. From the Farm McAllen Newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.